And Elijah prepared to depart from this world. Oh my God. Say school of the prophets. School of the prophets. Say school of the prophets. School of the prophets. I want you to put your fingers in your ears. Put your fingers in your ears and say, Lord, Lord anoint my ears, anoint my ears to, hear to hear what the Spirit would say to the church in the name of Jesus. Put your hand on your eyes and say, Lord, Lord open my eyes. Open my eyes. Mystery. Now watch this now. And Elijah prepared to depart from this world. He said 2 Kings 2 and 9. Now I want to look at this real quick. 2 Kings chapter 2 verse 9. And it came to pass when they were over that Elijah said unto Elijah, Ask what I shall do for thee before I'm taken away from thee. And Elijah said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon thee. Now, we need, you're going to need a double portion of the anointing to operate in this realm. Because it's the double portion that's, see, that's why Jesus said, This kind only come out by fasting and praying. Now, the double portion is not just for the power. It's to give you the ability to fast and pray. As well as walk in the power. So we got to find out why we're not walking in the power. We need to find out, okay, God, you call me to ministry. Why I'm laying hands on a spirit and the spirit ain't being cast out. Because we're not walking in the double portion. Our prayer life is not the same as their life in the Old Testament. Jesus didn't have a car in the Old Testament. A car is a distraction. Because we fulfill a purpose with a car, but also we do stuff that we shouldn't do with a car. That's why, anyway, praise God. Now watch this. Read the second paragraph. Katrina. The significance of, of this request lies in the united vision, which is established between Elijah and Elisha. You cannot work effectively in the vision of the land unless you have the spirit of the leader. You got to have the leader's spirit. You got to understand my spirit. Now, those of you that's been consecrated as pastors, you're not just consecrated as pastors. You got to get the prophetic anointing on your life. Because the prophetic anointing is going to allow you to see through the jungle and not just look at the trees in the jungle. Hear me what I'm saying. The prophetic anointing will allow, now watch this, mm. the prophetic anointing is a relationship with the Holy Spirit that allows you to tap into eternity. If you can't tap into eternity, if you cannot see into eternity, you can't see your future. If the, leader. if the leader has one vision and you have another, there is the division rather than the So you gotta understand, sit there, son. Come on now, you can't be walking now. Watch it. You gotta understand that there, there's gotta be one vision in Harvest International. And that is the vision that I have. I haven't even given you the vision. It's on my laptop. The main vision right now is the building. 
the church service, the main building is to get you to a place of strength and power. Because what? God is drawing people, but we have to be organized so people can come. God not going to bring people to no church that's disorganized. Must have the spirit of the leader of the house of God in which they are planted. So, see, so, so now watch that. Now he said a powerful word in which they have been planted. When you planted in a church, when God has planted you in a church, that means you gonna grow in that church. That means that the soil is ripe in that church. That means that God is watering it. God is fertilizing it, and God is. God gonna grow. So you gotta get your mind off of off of the little things in life that distract you. You gotta press toward the mark of the pride. You can't give up. You can't quit. You can't get discouraged. You can't let people get in your ear. Don't let people get in your ear. Don't let people talk you out of the church. Don't let people talk you out of your place of a sign. I'd rather be the chicken <laughs> crowing in my assignment than to be a fish on a beach that can't swim. <laughs> Come on here now. Yes. The chicken knew his assignment. God gave the chicken an assignment. God told the chicken, he told when he spoke to Peter, he talked to the chicken at the same time. That was some power. God was speaking in the spirit and in the earth at the same time. He was speaking to heaven and earth at the same time. He told the chicken, listen, when Peter denied me three times, all the chicken had to do was count. I know people that can't count. If you got a chicken that can count, oh my God. You saying when God prophesied to Peter he said Peter I know I called you to ministry you've been with me for three years you 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 watch me wake up in the morning you watch me go to sleep at night you you watch my struggles Peter you watch me when I was going through some hardship you watch me when, when my own father didn't know if they wanted to accept me or not. You watched me when I, when I had to cross the Jordan. When I, you watched me, Pete. You watched the heartache, the, the heartbreak. You saw me in the boat when I was sleeping. You watched me. You seen me up and you seen me down. But I'm telling you, you're going to be tested. You're going to be tested, Peter. But before the cock crow thrice, you're going to deny me twice. God was speaking heaven. 